Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Gunslinger Suicidal Ashwood Asylum. Woo. My throat hurts. I got some orange juice here. Let's take a bit of a sip of this. Mm. I like orange juice. Orange juice is good. I don't drink it too much, because uh, it certainly ain't so good for you, but... Man, is it good? See ya. You know, I had a. Uh, the other day, I don't drink coffee much either. Like, at all. And, um, the other day I had a. I ordered Fat Burger, which is, uh, burger joints. I got, um. Poutine with, like, some chicken tenders. Which, uh. I don't know, I don't think it's real poutine, because I'm pretty sure they just use mozzarella and not cheese curds, because it's not that, like, when you, when, you, when you eat poutine, I expect that, like, the cheese curds are going to hold their shape somewhat, and, um, you know, as you eat them, you get that classic, like, squeakiness from the cheese curds, which is always really nice. You don't get that with fat burger poutine, so I'm pretty sure they're just using mozzarella, um, so I don't think it's real poutine, but regardless, it is a very tasty product um, no complaints about the flavor of it I just I don't I think that calling it poutine is just it's just cheese gravy and fries it's not poutine poutine is cheese curds it's a very different experience uh, anyway so I got that with uh, with they have um, like the this poutine with uh, um, the chicken tenders already in it so you get like a chicken tender or like a chicken tender and a half like Kind of like ripped up into pieces in t in, uh, in your poutine, and it's uh, it's very very good. Anyway, I got that with. Um... Okay, I don't like these crawlers. Anyway, I got that with uh, with a mocha yava like shake thing, which is this mocha yava shake thing. It's it's mocha and yava, right? Nothing to really explain there. So, um, it's uh, it's one of my favorite shakes, honestly. Like, of, of any place, it is one of my favorite shakes. Because it is so delicious. But, there's, there's a lot of caffeine in it. It's uh, it's definitely it's definitely got the Yava part of it, right? The the Mocha Yava. It's, it's, def it's definitely got some coffee in it. And I don't do coffee, right? It, it messes with me. It, it, it really affects me. So I had, I had that at, uh, I don't know, six, seven, I finished drinking it by about, um, eh, probably like eight, nine, somewhere around that kind of range. Um, and, uh, very, very good. Loved it a lot. I didn't get to sleep until, I don't know, seven. The thing is, I still get tired. Right? Like, I'm not... I don't drink coffee and then I'm not tired and I don't want to go to sleep. No, no, no. Like, it'll still get to, you know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. kind of thing. And then I'm still tired and I still want to go to sleep. So I still get into bed. And I still lie down in bed. And toss and turn for hours because I just can't fall asleep. So it's, uh, it's always real unfortunate whenever I drink coffee. But, uh, Tim Hortons has this French vanilla and I'll get that with an espresso shot from Tim Hortons and it's it's really really good I don't I don't really support Tim Hortons personally I, I think that they are a bad company and um, I think that genuine generally their products kind of suck um, but their their French vanilla with an espresso shot is delightful I really, really like it. And it doesn't affect me. Which is probably saying something about the, the quality of their coffee and their espresso. But um, quality aside, I think that it tastes very good. And uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't ever go to Tim Hortons. Like Tim Hortons isn't a place that I would ever go. I just, I wouldn't. Um, but my family goes there every now and then. And uh, that's, what, that's what I order is a... Small French vanilla with an espresso shot. Yesterday or the day before or whatever, when uh, when I was woken up 
very rudely at nine o'clock in the morning by my father hammering away. He, uh, we, they, they went to, to Tim Hortons and they're like, what do you want? I'm like, I'll take a, I'll take a large French vanilla. <laughs> my sister found that one funny because, uh, I don't, I don't normally take large. I go for a small. I don't know. You just don't need a large. It's just, it's absurdly big. I, I worked at Tim Hortons for like um, 13 years ago. Yeah, somewhere around there. 12, 12 or 13 years ago, I was working at Tim Hortons. And uh, their old sizes were like one step smaller. So, like the small today was a medium back then, and a medium today was a large back then. A large today was an extra large back then, and an extra large today was who needs that much coffee? We just don't carry them in that big. Right? So, uh, I'm still kind of used to those sizes. I, uh... And it, I still, I still kind of mess it up from time to time. So when I ordered a large, I definitely did not mean the large that I got. I meant medium, but... You know. Hey. What you gonna do, right? I ended up with a whole lot of French vanilla. I drank it all. It was good. I liked it. But it was, it was a lot. <laughs> It was more than I wanted. That was more sugar than I uh, than I uh, I wanted for the day. But hey, what you gonna do? It's all good. Um, I don't know. Like the the sizing of drinks is just insane to me. Cause I uh, I worked at McDonald's for a while. I I'm not technically employed there anymore. I don't think. But um, whenever I want to go back, I can pretty much just say, hey, I'm ready to come back, and they'll put me back on the roster um, so I, I, I still kind of employed there but not really I'm just I'm, I'm on I'm on leave for COVID they just uh, at least at this location they don't have a way to handle that properly um, so I'm, I think I'm not employed but whatever the the point is the sizes are incredible like you, you get like a large pop and it's just this giant honk thing. The, the funniest part is, for me, um, they're hard to carry. Right? Like, they're just, they're just so big that the lids don't really fit on them so well. And, you know, you, you, you think that you'd be able to get the lid to fit on it because you still have, like, a consistently sized, like, mouth to the, the, the bottle, the, the, the cup. And then you'd have a consistently sized lid. No. No, they're too big for it to, to fit properly. Uh, like they just, they wobble too much. And then like, as you're carrying them, you have to apply too much pressure on it to make sure it doesn't slip. And that kind of just distorts the lid. And then um, it kind of distorts the uh, the mouth of the uh, of the, the cup. And then uh, the, the lids just don't fit that well. They're just hard to carry. And it's just an insane amount of, of pop. I have no idea how somebody can drink that much. I mean, I'm not a fan of pop anyway. Somebody gets a small, and I'm like, I don't know how you can drink that much pop. But <laughs> a large is... It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's a whole lot. It is a whole lot of pop. And anyway, you compare it to McDonald's and other parts of the world, right? I think that America has bigger pop, like, uh, cup sizes than we do here in Canada. Um, I think that America has the largest pop cup sizes out of uh, out of any country, I believe. Other than like maybe somewhere in like the UK or something. Um, but uh, there's there's still quite large, and you compare it to like um, like Japan McDonald's or something, and it's like the cups are just smaller over there, right? And it's like a reasonable size. It's what I would hope I'd be getting, honestly, if I ordered a large. You know, like when I when I order a large coffee, I get even even with coffee, I get more coffee than I expect when I order a large at most places. Um, but when I order a large pop, it's even bigger. I'm like the, the the coffee's already not good for you, and the coffee's already in too big a cup. Why why is the pop, which is even worse? In a, in a bigger cup. It's cheaper, you know, I guess. 
and like faster to make because you, you don't <laughs> you just give them a cup and they go pour it themselves um, you know, you know what boggles my mind is people like drink their large pop and they'll go back for a refill and it's just I have, I have no idea how you can drink that much pop without being sick it's just it, it's mad impressive you know like the, the, the stomach that you need for <laughs> for being able to do that. It's just... It's, that is an insane amount of pop. It's too much soda. Anyway, the point is, uh, I had a coffee the other day and it really messed me up. It really got me. I don't do, I don't do coffee so well. <sighs> I'm not even tired, I don't know why I'm yawning. Not even tired. RIP. Roswell Investigators of the Paranormal. Have I read that before? I believe I've read that before on camera, right? Is this another RIP? Is this another rip? It is another rip. Funny that. It's all rip all around. Again, I can't think of a conversation or a topic to talk about while we're killing the boss. Also, I'm apparently tired. First time learning of this, but perhaps I might be. My goodness, that is a lot of poops. Yeah, it's been a while since we fought the abomination, eh? It has been a while. I want to not die, for one. And that that's a good first step to uh, success. Not dying. Okay, I did not know they could come up there. I thought that I thought I was being a little sneaky genius there, and I was I was not being a little sneaky genius there. That was the opposite of being a little sneaky genius. But it's fine, cause uh, I'm still pretty good, so uh, it's all good. That was a good one. I'm not too huge a fan of this map. I don't know. It just feels too dark. Crowded? Clustered? I don't know. Not a huge fan. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like, if you like, subscribe, see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.